similarly you want to choose some font style you can have this and choose some other one all right this is the character spacing between this you can again have it very tight loose you can have this see let's say loose select this first from here if we choose loose see it, the letters are now far, further apart now this is very loose again see the gap between the characters it has increased all right if you want to specify the spacing then you can go for more spacing and you can choose it from here okay you can increase or decrease the size from here similarly you want to increase the font size just keep on clicking here one by one whichever you find suitable you can stop over there similarly if i want to reduce the size i can go for this all right if you want to clear all formatting you can click on this button there you go similarly if you want to insert some list like we have a list here now then you can choose the bullet style with this see this this is a hollow square bullets these are the star bullets whichever you want you want to put a tick mark with this you can have this all right similarly if you want to go for the numbering then you can click here and choose which type of list you want these are the numbered lists okay either one two three four roman one two three or whatever okay or a b c lowercase uppercase anything this is the list level like for example uh, i have a list further down this okay now imagine that these two are sub points of the second point then you can click on this and you can further divide it with this see you can even change this to some others now you get a sub list okay similarly you want to remove this you may just select this and go towards the left it becomes a part of the main theme see the main list you can just have it like one two three four okay see we got it back similarly you have the styles like if i add something here now with this heading you want to have it in the center or on the right then you can click these buttons here see and this is the justify justify whenever you do you have equal spacing on the left and the right okay similarly this is right aligned this is center aligned and this is the left aligned all right you want to write this text direction you want to change the text direction you can have it like this see 270 stacked so it's all up to you all right you can have this see now this is in the middle this is the top this is the bottom so it depends on you whichever you feel suitable you can choose that we told you earlier that if you want to insert a new slide you can have it from here and if we choose a blank slide then everything you'll have to do it yourself okay otherwise you can choose it from the other available options we want a title with the content or you want a title slide or you want only a title or something right then there are some options available there but if you choose a blank slide then you'll get something like this where nothing is there okay so here you have to add everything now let us see let's try to add one or two things then you'll come to know what to do see i have a text box here and i can just click and drag it here for example like this okay now you can try adding some text to this okay you want to add some lines or something you can have this see this line is now not horizontal you can just move it here or there but imagine i want a horizontal line then i'll press the shift button from the keyboard and now you can have it exactly horizontal like so okay 
now since we have drawn the line we would like to play around with the effect see some shadow effect or something all right see this there's a slight shadow effect right then you see it done you can try the others okay i'm just giving you a hint you can change the line color like so nice become red see so many styles are there you can choose from here also then uh, this is white in color okay the background is white in color so let's let's just have some background here you can go from here also you can right click and click on format background but otherwise if you click on this quick style you'll get this okay now this is a solid fill when you click here you get an option of filling a color here for example i choose a light color like so see or you want to go for a gradient fill then you are presented with some gradients some preset uh, gradients are also there like this is a linear one then you can have a radial one radial one means it's a circle okay like so all right you want some other color with this then you can have let's say this one see gradients they have two or more colors in them okay then you can have some nice transition between one color to the other if you like like for example see how nicely they have molded this thing right one color starts and slowly gradually it comes to the next color okay you want to put some picture in the background or some texture fill you can have it from here if you want to insert some picture here you can click on file and choose some file from here long time anyway all right now you have an option imagine you are having 20 to 30 slides then you can click on apply to all all right then this effect will be applied to all the slides present in this slideshow okay you have some options here also you can go to a picture from here as well picture color picture correction you want to make it uh, sharp or brightness contrast you want to increase or decrease you can have it from here some pictures color you want to change some saturation or something that you can have it from here all right uh, you will learn all this when you practice it yourself okay let's draw some shapes also this is an arrow just as you draw on a line this is an arrow <clears throat> you have a rectangle you can again change the color of this you can put it in a gradient also like so you can put a pattern in this you can choose from all different uh, patterns from here okay like so Then you have some arrows. A star. And there are so many. Okay. I hope you followed till here, children. This was the home tab. All right, so please practice this and you will definitely gain when you practice it yours. So try to have a theme or some topic of your own and then try to practice yourself. Okay, when you try changing all these colors and draw some lines or arrows or something, okay, change the different backgrounds, try to fill a color there, then you will learn. All right, now imagine we have completed our presentation and now 